Zelensky. World needs American leadership that does not wait for November, but acts decisively so people like Putin afraid of our actions. Here's a summary of the article. Facts 1227, the 10th of July 2024, three minutes read. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that the world today cannot be safe without America. The world needs American leadership that does not wait for the November elections in the United States, but acts decisively so that enemies like Putin fear joint actions of the United States and their partners. Now everyone is waiting for November. Americans are waiting for November. And Europe, Middle East, Indo Pacific, the whole world is looking to November. And truly speaking, Putin awaits November too, but killing and destroying to get ready. To be ready for everything what November might bring, Zelensky said while speaking at the Ronald Reagan Institute in Washington. Even the anniversary NATO summit which should become a top event does not indeed look strong in the media in contrast to what is expected from November. It seems that people do not even notice that NATO has expanded by two new countries at once. This is a historic event, but it is in the shadows of another story, he noted. Then, what happened now? When did it step into the shadows? When did one start thinking that it's better to delay than act? That partial solutions are better than victory. And when it started to appear that to defend freedom is allegedly unsafe. And that to put Putin in place for blackmailing the whole world is allegedly unprofitable. It's time to step out of the shadows, to make strong decisions work, to act and not to wait for November or any other month. To this end, we must be strong and uncompromising. All together, and first of all America, and first of all the leaders of America and the President of the United States is a leader of the free world, the President said. We need to be exactly what all Ukrainians were on the 24th of February 2022. Exactly what President Biden and the Congress were on the 24th of February. When Putin decided to break everything dear to us. We all acted as one. We didn't wait a single day and even a minute. Then the world saw that Putin could lose and democracy can win. Can win even when it seemed impossible, he noted. The world can't be secure without America. America should not shy away from its strength. It is America that keeps the freedom for the world. That's why the world values America. America which acts, Zelensky said. And now we all need exactly this. Leadership that does not wait for any Novembers but acts. Acts now. Acts every day strongly, so that life wins, and so that our enemies such as Putin, fear our actions, he stressed. This post received a score of 5,200, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Unfortunately, America's political machine runs around elections. I guarantee you that every time Biden talks about doing more for Ukraine, someone says, why don't you wait until after November in case that hurts your prospects? I got my disillusionment as a 19-year-old intern working for a member of Congress in her D.C. office. Every single thing came with the question of how does that impact re-election. Obviously the advantage there is you're always thinking about what the majority of the people want. But the disadvantage is, the majority is not always right. Things are improving thanks to this war, but not fast enough. Don't worry, the SCOTUS is working hard on more than making up for any progress that is being made. Absolutely. Pussyfooting around the issue isn't winning Biden any votes. Kick Russia's ass now. At the very least let the oil refineries be targeted. It's not like Russia can really escalate any further. That will immediately raise oil prices which will help Trump get elected and then not only oil refineries in Russia, but Russian soldiers in Ukraine will not be allowed to be targeted using US weapons. Bombing Russian oil refineries would increase petrol prices if Russia was a big exporter of petrol which they aren't. Most stuff they make is for the domestic market. Russia is a big exporter of crude oil and bombing their refineries actually makes them sell more crude oil, thus decreasing the price for everyone else. Unfortunately no longer do people need to establish any kind of real correlation. All that would need to be done is to simply say that the oil prices are going up because of some kind of infrastructure damage in Russia and then the people who want you to believe that will raise the oil prices and it doesn't matter what the truth or reality is. Fair enough. Prices rise any time the word oil appears in news headlines. But this effect is only short term. Mid to long term strikes on refineries still are a factor for price decrease. 
especially when everyone gets used to them and they stop being news. Such a shame that Europe is in such shambles that all their hopes seem to be placed on a country an ocean away. Europe really is pretty impotent when it comes to handling issues in their own hemisphere. America really does need to get its shit together. Sadly, the fact this election is even remotely close means we're nowhere near the end of our stupidity. As an American, one can confidently say absolutely nothing will be achieved in Congress or the presidency between now and November. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com without any human intervention.